Five days later, we will uh, see what happened to the mics on our uh, Goliathus uh, lorry. Uh, you probably remember from last time that we have prepared three different uh, substrates where we put the infested lorry in. And today now we are going to check whether uh, the mics on the body of the lorry have disappeared, yes or no, and what we do with the lorry uh, afterwards. Also, what happened to the clean lorry that we brought back into the old substrate. Are they infested again? Yes or no? That's what we want to see today. Now first um, I will check uh, one, uh, two lorry that are brought back into normal substrate. You can see here it's moving under the normal substrate uh, where she lived in and we want to see what happened here. It's clear that uh, this larva is still infested with the mites. You see that on the this little pinkish dust on the body, it's a very clear sign that, or also here on the back, this dust-like little pinkish grains, like a little sand. On the on the back here of the of the lottery, that's a sign that she's still infested. So in the old substrate, it's not gonna be a big difference. Now let's check the second one. I have uh, prepared one box where we where here we have put in only white rotten wood, um, a sieved white rotten wood, that's a, a very dry uh, thing here. Let's see where the larva is and what it did here in, the, in that substrate, whether it's now clean or not. This is very clear. Does it, this larva is free, is completely free of, uh, of mites. I don't see anything here not even on the head because normally you can see uh, here on uh, on the head capsule you can see an amount of, of this uh, mites or of course around the spiracles on the side of the lorry but here you don't see anything and also not on the back here of the lorry so this means in only finely chopped wood pieces, the mites disappear within five days and the larvae you can bring back uh, to a new uh, substrate, to a fresh substrate where she can go on and where you can give her uh, food as you like. The third um, thing that I wanted to test is just to bring the larvae in a box where there are dried uh, leaves of uh, of dried leaves. Yeah. So what happened here? So this is interesting because now it's not an L2 anymore. Uh, the larvae larva has molded into an L3, and now it's a freshly emerged L3 larva. And let's see whether there are some. I think here on the spiracles you still can see some small spots of um, of mites but overall it seems pretty good and also on this side I don't see anything on the spiracles but it means that this larvae has a um, has a uh, molded to L3 now in this box so and it's already out of her of her old skin. I put her uh, now back. Of course we have to transfer this to a new uh, box also, but I would like to check the second box with the leaves, what happened with the larva here, before we uh, go on and looking into the other uh, boxes. Now let's see what happened here. Because all of these larvae uh, were infested with these mites, and I want to see what happened to the second one here that was in the box with the leaves. 
So also this larva here, I don't see anything here on the head anymore. I don't see anything on the spiracles here anymore. Not on the back, so it means that uh, also this technique with the dry leaves that should work uh, for you if you don't have uh, this special kind of uh, finely uh, grounded um, white rotten wood sawdust. So that's uh, for uh, the, the check of the of the three techniques. So best would be dry white rotten wood pieces, second would be leaves, and what happened now to the larvas that were clean five days ago when we put them back into the substrate where they live, now look here what happened, especially on the head, this is very clear here on the head, you see this sand like structure here around, this is, this is a little all these are all little mites on the body of that larva. Also here you see it's covered with this dust like uh, mites on the body. So that is the problem of the substrate. And what is the problem of the substrate? It's mostly it's that it has too much nutritional content. So that we have put in too many uh, cat food pellets or whatever and the mites could explode with growth in this uh, substrate. So you should uh, try another substrate that has not so much nutritional content and you should pay attention not to feed too much to the larvae, only give them as many cat food pellets as they can just eat instantly more or less. So that's the uh, best way uh, to keep mites away. And now with these two, uh, I think also the other one I think it, it, it will be infested again with mites, uh, this one, because mostly um, in, when mites appear, it's mostly, practically always, it's a problem of the substrate, and that is too much nutrition in the substrate. Also here you see it very clearly, especially here you don't... You, around the head capsule here you see this dust like sand like structure that are mites also you don't see the spiracles here clear anymore because there are a lot of, of these mites on the spiracles here okay also this larvae I mean they don't look bad uh, because they, they look sick or so that's not the problem it's on, only that uh, there are too many of these uh, mites on the body of the larvae and we, we should do something uh, against it. Yeah. For the next step, what do we do with the larvae that are clean and, and healthy? With Coriotus, if they are L2, I just prepare a glass with a mixture of peat and sand and only a little bit of the old material containing a little bit of leaves, a little bit of flake soil and um, a little bit of white rotten. Uh, what this is now mostly sand and peat and this has not much nutritional content so if you put a freshly uh, cleaned larva into this box it should not have an outbreak of uh, there shouldn't be an outbreak of mites anymore the larva will dig into the substrate and you can start giving her food cat pellets like this one if you keep them open, they are of course also infested because mites, they come everywhere, through the air, through everything, to dust particles. This is, you cannot prevent things from being infested with, with mites. You only can keep the number as low as possible. If you keep them dry, because mites, uh, they dry out much faster than the larva itself, so mostly, why did they uh, disappear here because uh, it was too dry for the mites and they died because they just dried out. Now this is the new box for our clean L2 uh, larva. I just put two of the cat food pellets on top then I close the lid with the two ventilation holes and 
I write what is in the box and so the process goes on. The next step is of course that they will uh, mold to an L3 as we have seen in the other uh, box and um, as soon as they are a little bit bigger, uh, after about one or two weeks that they are L3, I put them in a little uh, a bigger box that you will see here on the channel also. Thanks for watching.